Hey there, I'm making this video for some folks that are interested in the paranormal. And uh, my, my own experience is that I uh, was a complete skeptic denier. And then I be, uh, had some experiences starting in uh, 2012. And um, I won't go into that here. But um, in the culture that we have today, there's uh, attention paid to the paranormal. Uh, and of course that could mean a lot of different things but generally what i'm referring to is uh, hauntings ghosts apparitions whatever you want to call them things like that and um i want to point out what's happening here so when i had paranormal experiences i talked to people about it i uh in a sense proselytized uh, I really overdid it because basically if someone's ready for it, you don't need to say anything. If they're not ready for it, then you don't need to say anything. So the experiences are kind of personal. They are, uh, they can help you to grow and develop. But um, at any rate, the difference between the way our culture uh, handles uh, death, uh, spirit, ghosts, whatever you want to call it, and the way other cultures have handled it uh, and still do uh, are very very different so uh, one example is India so when someone dies in India they burn the body as quickly as possible and they dispose of all the belongings clothes everything else uh, and that is basically to make a clean great clean break so that uh, the influence of that person their energy does not hang around because it uh, it can be bad because basically what happens when you uh, when you're alive, your brain works. You can think, you can change your mind, you can absorb things, compute stuff like that. When you die, apparently whatever it is that you're going through at the very end, that intent will continue. So this is why you'll have reports of ghosts who continue to do the same thing over and over again, like go to the office and type or walk through the hallway or slam doors or things like that, because that was the phase that they were in when they died. Now, perhaps part of their energy has gone somewhere else and they've left some energy here. I don't know. But um, another example is uh, Australian Aborigines. Uh, they're a little different from India because uh, they also dispose of the, uh, they didn't always dispose of all the body, but I won't go into all that. Sometimes they, the, the wife would keep the skull for a while in mourning and things like that. But basically when someone died, their name was never spoken again. Uh, all references to them were basically erased. If they had been named after a place or an animal or something like that, the name of the animal or the place was changed. So basically when they were gone, they were gone. That's it. Uh, because they understood very well, they were very connected to other dimensions, uh, paranormal, whatever you want to call it. And uh, they knew that this, over, from experience, that this was the best way to handle things. Um, now, another thing about the Aborigines, which ties into, uh, in contrast to our worldview, our culture rather, and the way that we handle things, is that Aborigines, uh, who have, had been around, uh, for probably over 100,000 years. They had no famous figures, no celebrities, no history, uh, nothing. And they did that for a reason, because what do we have? We're swimming in it all the time. Pop stars, movie stars, Abraham Lincoln, Einstein, you know, it goes on forever. And um, is that helpful? Is it not? Um, what happens is that people, um, when they feel disconnected, they try to create a, net, a connection in a new way. Uh, it can be a, basically a kind of domination. So we have a culture that is uh, obsessed with fame, stardom, notoriety. I mean, that's what Facebook is, social media. It's a way for you to become famous in a way, to be seen. So. The trouble with the paranormal stuff is that um, people use it as a way to uh, be seen, and um, that isn't good. Uh, I should know because I've done it myself. I don't do it anymore. 
right? But um, I went to a convention in Harlan, well, I won't say where it is, but um, I met someone who was a paranormal investigator and they were talking about the pitfalls, dangers of paranormal investigation. And in his case, he and some other Ghostbuster guys went to a uh, murder site, uh, you know, to poke around and see if they could find something. And when he left, uh, he went home to his family and almost killed them and didn't remember anything that had happened. So he literally picked up something, something piggybacked on him from this site, and um, he took it home with him. And um, I later had a vision about this person, and uh, basically the information was that he had been a uh, mortician in ancient Egypt. So now he's, I'm getting tingled, now he's reincarnated and is still um, working the same lesson, and that is not to profit from death. So uh, people do this to different degrees, you know. Um, perhaps there are people out there that are scientifically studying this sort of thing, and they're not so concerned about uh, fame, prestige, uh, notoriety, profit, things like that. But to some degree, I think we have to look at ourselves and realize that that is, is perhaps what we are doing. So it's kind of like, hey, look at me, look at, but, but look at this, look at me showing you look, you know, look at this. And um, the stuff does exist, of course. Uh, we're all on our journey. We're all uh, learning, developing. Uh, they say when your life ends, that's when you understand why perfectly why you were here and how. So anyway, um, I'll leave it there, and um, I hope I've uh, covered it adequately.